Coming to stand, bring your hands to your heart. Namaste. Beginning with the shoulder opener, we'll reach our right arm long against the wall, bend it at a 90 degree angle, and start to walk yourself towards the left. So your hand is facing up to the sky and your elbow and your shoulder at about the same height here. You want to be semi-close to the wall. And the more open you are in the shoulder and in your pecs, you'll start to turn your chest to the left. And begin your breath, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. Inhale. Exhale. Releasing and switching sides, we'll bring the right arm down and now we'll stretch the left arm out at a 90 degree angle. So it's bent 90 degrees. Palms face up towards the sky, fingers up to the sky, and the elbow and the shoulder are in line. This time we'll walk towards the right. And breathe. Standing up tall. Don't go too far in the pose, just to feel an opening in the front of the shoulders. That's all we're working towards. Inhale, exhale, coming back to forward. Walking yourself a couple steps back, we're gonna take a wrist stretch. So reach the arms long, bring your pinkies together with the fingers facing down and the arms straight. You can walk yourself back as much as you need to, and you'll lean into your arms, and the arms are gonna be about shoulder height. Breathing in to the forearms, to the wrists, the fingers. Breathe in. And breathe out. Taking a few more deep breaths, just how you are. We'll slowly start to peel the hands off the wall, starting with the heel of the hand. So the fingers are just on the wall now at this point. And continuing to peel, so maybe just the fingertips are on the wall. Nice stretch, breathe into it. And on your exhale, release, walking the feet back in, releasing the arms, and give yourself a little bit of some twirling in the hands and the wrists, moving them about. And we're gonna turn to our, we're facing away from the wall, Bring your bum to the wall with your feet a little further out. We're gonna take a forward fold here. So just fold using the support of the wall behind you. Your hips are against the wall. Grab onto opposite elbow. And have your feet away from each other. So a little space, they don't need to be touching. Finding space in the vertebrae, in your spine. And you can begin to shake your head, yes. No. From here, we're gonna interlace our hands behind our back. So the fingers, the fingernails are pointing up to this, away from you. Still using the wall behind you. If you need to walk further or closer to the wall, go for it. And just let the pinky fingers start to draw towards the ground in front of you. Your head is hanging. If your gaze is anywhere, it's at the wall behind you. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. You can shake the head yes and no here. and releasing the wrists 
We're gonna roll up to stand, vertebrae by vertebrae, one at a time, nice and slow, head comes up last. And from here, we'll move away from the wall just a bit. We'll take eagle arms. So starting with the right arm underneath the left, you can just grab onto opposite shoulders if that doesn't work for you. We're gonna go in circles here. So starting clockwise, moving to the right and down and back up, making big circles. Your back might pop a little bit. That's okay. It's just waking up and we'll switch directions, going counterclockwise. You can go as slow as you'd like. And one more, come on up, release your arms, reach up to the opposite side, left arm underneath the right, and go ahead and begin your circles. Again, we'll start clockwise first. Yep, just two more. Good, one more round. And switch directions, counterclockwise. See if you can move with the breath as you make your circles. Exhale down and then inhale, rising up. That's good. One more. And release the arms. Reach up towards the sky, big stretch here, and hands come down. We're going to take a little back bend here, Ustrasana, camel pose facing the wall. So you're going to line yourself up so your knees are flush with the wall, your thighs are pretty gosh darn close, and you can tuck your toes or untuck your toes. The option on the left will be an easier variation, the option on the right is going to be more advanced, so find anywhere in between. See if you can pull yourself up out of your hips, opening your chest. No crunching in the lower back. And then inhale, come on and rise up. Sit back down on your feet, either on the heels, toes are tucked or not, your choice. And we'll take one more round. So come on up. If you'd like to take a further variation, you can untuck the toes. Maybe reach back to the heels. You don't have to reach back to the feet if you'd like. You can just keep your hands on your hips. So your choice. Keep pressing the thighs towards the wall. Unclench your bum. Open the shoulders. And breathe. You don't want to forget to breathe, so breathe deeply here. Fill yourself up with air. And we'll come on up. Take a seat on the heels, neutralizing the spine. Just sit for a moment here, take a few deep breaths. And hoping that you are feeling refreshed and ready to get back to your work. Hands to the heart. Namaste.